Hey guys and girls, I'm going to show you how I put an inner tube in a riding lawnmower tire today. Thanks for tuning in to Steve's Small Landed Saloon again. So I have a John Deere riding lawnmower with a snow blade on it. I was clearing some snow about six weeks ago or so, and I noticed that my front tire was going flat. So I got some of that tire sealant. Um, I put that in there and it worked for about, you know, about six weeks. We had a dump of snow again about two days ago. Went to pull, pull the plow out again. Tire's flat again. Tried the sealant. Sealant didn't work this time. On closer inspection, I started looking at the sidewall. Now you can see how this sidewall is cracked so bad, right there. Now the sidewall is cracking on here so bad that the sealant won't even work anymore. It won't fill that in. So now I know I have to put a tube in this tire. It's a, it's a tubeless tire. I'm gonna put a tube in it now. It's gonna fix that problem. Sometimes you guys are gonna see that if you have that sidewall cracking on there, Sometimes it's so severe that it's split, literally split wide open. Well, obviously you can't put a tube in there because the tube is just gonna push itself out and blow out. This is not split wide open, it's just cracked, it's full of holes, sealant's not filling it anymore, tube time. If you guys already have a tube in your tire and it's got a slow leak or it's leaking, I would highly suggest you use some of that sealant. Um, if you guys want to try that, I got a little link up here in the I button, top right corner of your screen for some sealant. The reason I say try that if you have a tube in it already is because tubes, the inner tubes in these don't get the sidewall cracking. They're just an inner tube. You're going to most likely be just having like some thorns and whatnot of poking through the tread, um, causing you to have a slow leak or, or a fast leak, whatever. T the tire sealant, I think, in a tube works great i've done that many times try that if you already have a tube in it the tools that you're going to need for doing this um, you're going to need some way of cutting that stem off side cutters uh, a little razor knife uh, you're going to need a couple big screwdrivers the bigger the better here's a couple that would work this is better a couple big ones like that you're going to need something to put in your bench vise because we're going to convert your bench vise into a little tire machine right now. Anything that's going to go in your bench vise that you can clamp in there like that. Um, also, that has to fit through the hole where your axle normally goes. Very important. Um, oh yeah, you also need a beer. I'm going with red truck logger today. This is not a bad job, guys. This is literally going to take you two or three beers, depending on how fast you are. So the first thing that we need to do is cut that stem off. I'm going to use just a little razor knife for doing this. You just take that little stem right there, bend it over. Obviously, if you have a tube in it already, you don't need to do this. You just poke that tube, just poke the stem out. This is a tubeless tire. We're cutting the stem off right now. Just bend that over like that and just slice it off with your razor knife like that and then boom it's gone now we have to pop the beads off of this the rubber part the tire itself is popped into these little beads on your on your rim of your tire we need to separate the rubber from the rim on both sides now this is what I've done over the years. This works the best for me. If you take a big screwdriver, like even a small crowbar or something like that, um, throw it on the ground. Now what we need to do is step on that. Step on the rubber and put as much pressure as you can on that. And then start poking it around that bead right there with your, with your uh, crowbar or your big screwdriver. Till all of a sudden, look at that, pop. It's, now you just separated that rubber from the rim. Now flip it over and do it on the other side. Same thing on the other side. Step on that and pop that bead off. Separate that rubber from the, from the metal rim. So there you go. That worked. 
always works for me. Sometimes it's a little trickier. Sometimes you got to take a lot more time than I just showed you to do it. It will work though. Keep at it. Separate that like that. Now we need to set up your bench vise. Turn it into a little tiny tire machine here. I'm going to use this old uh, chainsaw tool right here just because it works for me. You can use all kinds of things. You can actually use a little crowbar or whatever. Pinch it in your vise, something like that. Let's go. Okay, you got your bench vise set up like that. Now we just got to put your tire on to what you have rigged up on your bench vise. Put it on so the hole where the stem was is on the upside. It's going to make it way easier to put your tube in it. Okay, so you got your tire on your new homemade bench vise tire machine now. We're ready to pull that rubber off on the top side. Um, you got to lube it with something. It's going to make this way easier for you guys. Um, you can use all kinds of things. You can use soap along the along the edge there. You can use motor oil, uh, the spray lube. Um, what else? Don't use beer. Whatever you do, what a waste. Don't do that. If you're down to that, spit on it if you have to before you use beer. Now, once you got some something on there to lube it, here's what I do. Big screwdriver, something like that. You hook it in like this. Pull her back towards you on one side of your vertical piece that's coming out of, of your bench vise. Then you put another one in there like that. And then just squeeze them together. Push both of those against that vertical piece that you have sticking out of your bench vise. And just squeeze it hard like a big pair of scissors like that. And boom! Pops that rubber right off up off of there. So now once we're at that point, um, obviously you need a tube to put in that. Um, you got to order one or go buy one. Um, I do have in that little I button up in the top corner there again. I do have a link there for you to go uh, buy an inner tube if you want. You have to know you're buying the right one though. Look at the side of your tire. All these tires have their size on this one. This one says 15 by 6-6. You order it, you're going to see the exact same markings on the side of the tube. You know you got the right tube. Now, you got the right tube, we need to stuff it in there. Stuff that tube in all the way around with your uh, stem on this side where the hole is, obviously. Get your fingers down in there and, and shove that stem up through. Now... This is actually quite important. This is going to be frustrating as hell for you guys if you don't do this. You have to find some way to hold that stem up where you have it now so it doesn't keep sucking itself in and popping back down inside the tire as you're completing this job. What I do is I take that little stem off, or the little uh, the whole cap on your stem, unscrew that off, and then take a, a, a little flat washer, something like that. Put that over, this is what I do. Then screw the cap back on and that's going to keep your stem from popping back down in there and frustrating the living crap out of you. If you don't have a washer around where you can do that, um, you gotta have some way of doing this. Some people have those little hemostats you can clip on there. Uh, vice grips, maybe clamp a pair of vice grips really lightly on there. Something, anything that you can do to keep it from sucking itself back inside that tire. Now we got to get the rubber back on there again after we do that. You still got that rubber lubed up nice, that's great. Here's what I do, I just simply push that back side of that rubber down and pull it forward as far as I can and then hold it over while I Take my screwdriver again and just pull it forward, hook it around your rim like that and just pull it forward and pull it forward like that until you can just pop that rubber back on there. Once we got all that done now, we need to pump it up. This is very important guys. Hold the stem with the needle nose pliers like that. Get your compressor ready. Get your compressor hose ready. Hold that. Unscrew that, take the washer off so you're holding it with needle nose pliers and don't let go. Get ready, pump it up. Start applying pressure to that and it's gonna blow the tire up. 
and and then boom, there you go. Now the now the stem's not going to pop back inside again uh, because it's full air. Now the air pressure itself is holding that stem out. So there you go. I think we're done. That uh, that worked great. Check your tire pressure. Most of the front tires on these riding lawnmowers are 14 psi. The back ones are 10 psi, depending on how big they are. But check your tire pressure. Put it back on your rider. Go out in there and plow some snow now, unfortunately. <laughs> I hope I helped you guys out again. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit me that thumbs up button, like it, share it with your friends. I sure hope I helped you guys out again. I hope I saved you some money so you didn't have to take it into the shop. That's all I got to say about that. I think, uh, what can I say? Steve out. Yeah. Yeah.